Hi guys, so it's been a little while since I've done any vlogging. Today, as the title will say, I'm trying on wedding dresses and I am really excited. My mum's coming, my friend Jenny is coming as well. I'm actually doing this for an Instagram post with Wed to Be. And I thought I'd bring you guys along and it's like the start of my journey with the whole planning of the wedding and everything. Like the wedding won't be for a long time. I haven't actually announced this anywhere. I've told a few people when I've been talking to you in my DMs and stuff. We're actually buying a house. Almost there, we're just before exchanging. So all our money has kind of gone to there. I obviously have a Pinterest board and now I have Instagram collections. I have a strong idea what kind of dress I'd like. So this is a great opportunity to actually try on those styles of dresses and see if they actually do suit me because I'm worried it will be expectations versus reality. So I've noted down some of the dresses I wanna try. I just can't wait to have the whole experience and my mum to be there. I'm gonna take pictures, obviously for Instagram, and vlogging it for you guys and I want to take some pictures I've got like my big DSLR so if Jenny could help me take some pictures I'd like to start doing like blog content I will say I a lot when I talk about the wedding Paul is like you can just do it all and everything I see I like I always show him and he does always like it if he hated something then obviously I wouldn't do it I basically you know what kind of flowers I want uh, at the moment what dress I want but this will help kind of check if that is right for me. I have actually thought of and planned quite a lot in my head. If you followed me on Instagram, I learned how to macrame. Is it ma macrame or macrame? I'm never actually sure if I'm saying it right. Maybe quite bold of me, but I really want to make our own like wedding arch and I know the flowers I want around it. So we have planned a lot like table settings, just haven't decided on venue location. It'll probably be in Norfolk area. I think we just want to find the right location together. We both have some ideas of why we want to get married like venue wise. Tomorrow actually we are going well they've actually been married already but we're going to the reception and we just love going to weddings and receptions and taking inspiration like we we go to them and we're like mm, we like this mm, yes we should do this for ours. I know when I go in the shop it's just going to feel like there's loads of white dresses so I thought going online is a lot easier and they're really affordable as well. When I've looked at dresses before I've never been the one to be like oh, I want my dresses to cost like loads because you're only going to wear it once and the dresses I was kind of looking at before were around like a thousand mark and some of the dresses I've seen on the website they were less and that's so much more affordable because then you can use the money on other things like everyone I have so many friends that have been married are planning weddings and it's the venue and food is expensive. Five to seven hundred pounds is the ones I'm looking at which is really good you can use that money to just do so much but as I said, I want to do a few like DIY things like the macrame and make some of the decorations. My friend Nicole from Berries and Grey said she'd help me out, which is amazing. She'd help supply stuff from her shop and that, that just means the world because I've, you know, seeing buying that or renting that can cost so much. So that is just honestly so lovely. People reaching out wanting to help which means like a great deal and whenever people reach out I'm like thank you so much like it's not going to be for a while but the fact that people are reaching out it helps reduce the cost so maybe we can get married sooner than we think but yeah exciting so I just got a message I have a trip coming up which is exciting if all goes to plan I don't want to say it and then jinx it all goes to plan we will be moving in end of May and then June I go away. If you guys are interested, I'm thinking of doing a video all about more house stuff. I know I'm rambling and I need to go. Offer was accepted on the 6th of February and it is currently the 13th of April. I don't think it's always this slow, but on the vendor side it's been a little slow. Okay, I have filmed for seven minutes. It's time to put an outfit on and go try on some wedding dresses. That literally is very surreal. I put on uh, Twitter that I was doing it and one of you said to vlog, which I'm doing for you. And people on Instagram stories have been like, oh my God, I'm so excited for you. I'm, I'm very excited, okay. I can't stop smiling, let's go. This is my outfit. I thought it'd be very fitting if I wore my rock and roll wife top. So Kat from Rock and Roll Bride, she sent me this, but I'm like, you need to make a Rock and Roll Bride one or a Rock and Roll Fiance, because I'm wearing this, but I'm not yet a bride. I've gone for extra small. I like to tie it at the waist. These are amazing. I got these in Primark sale. You'll see them later, but they're flared. 
For one, it's amazing that I'm not in denim jeans or riding pants. These are so comfy. I do kind of worry because they don't look like trousers, they don't have a button, but they are so flattering. I think these were maybe like £10. I've seen similar in Topshop, all well, those kind of places for loads more. I tried the Topshop ones on, were not flattering. These, flattering. And as I said, the legs, well you'll see, they're actually not too long for me. Quickly, I've just had some mail arrive. And well, I had to open it because look at it. How amazing are these? These are plump, tint and shine. I did not realize how big this store is. They have them all over the country. It's so convenient, I have one in Norwich. These are my head, I think. I know, I want, I want to try them on and see. I think that will look really classic. Yeah, yeah, it, it is so elegant. Oh, and you can kind of, yeah, see the different shades as well. Yeah. This one's yeah. slightly pinkier. Yeah, this one's blush, so. Ah. The corset in this is amazing, really sucks mm. The bone in is really Yeah. Cool. I feel really secure in this. Yes. <laughs> the back's <laughs> really, really okay. pretty. Maybe a more, like, just down? Yeah. Mm. The top bit is lovely though, yeah, like that's bit. stunning. It's really pretty. Dress number two. So it's satin on here, which is really lovely. Corset waist, I am really sucked in. It's really, really flattering. It was like a mix of like the first one. Yes. But with like satin, but maybe not A line, maybe more like down. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You prefer the first one? Yeah. I like the top of the first one. Yeah. I wasn't sure about the bottom. Twelve. Oh, I do like the back. <laughs> it's a lot lighter. Yes, definitely. Like, it's a nice back. I agree. But I do like how it goes more. But then we were saying some of the dresses they then go in and out, kind of like a pattern. Mm -hmm. I'm talking. She's just. <laughs> Which one do you like so far? First one. Select the first one. What do you like, Jenny? I'm gonna say the first one, the details, stunning, mm -hmm. and then the simplicity of the, the like booby booby one. That was really nice. But I love that lacy bit on your arms. Was so pretty. I love like the back on it as well. Yeah. This is nice though. I like do you the like? Shape it? Of yeah. This. this is kind of more towards the skirt and thinking where it goes. For. Yeah. I feel like I've got more shape on this one. Mm. I think, and then the back is really nice. But there's lovely beading work on this. Mm. Mm. Really lovely. Yeah. I think this, if this has oh. sleeves, oh. the back is really nice. You're doing a pepper. Mm. Although it does, I do think it's nice. I only thought sleeves because then it would cover. Do you? It's just a pretty tight. I think it would work. Well, I thought everyone had to wear a mask. It was like when he like, slipped mm. off. That's very movie. And then he cracked. Also different cry. religions as well. <laughs> Peaks about there. We like work. Second one. <laughs> Oh, that feels so weak. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Yeah, this time I've seen that the other one. Oh, I feel like a pride! <laughs> the veils always do it. <laughs> but then you can still see all the detailing through the back of the dress as well, then. Mm. Oh, so it's not so too heavy. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah, I love how that falls. Can you see, I'm um, so saying about that sort of coverage without having the seats? Hmm. I can even like get in them off. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's really pretty. Oh my god, this is so nice. Look at mum in the back. Even, even, <laughs> even with your hair like that, if you had like a bit of curls, that would look so yeah. lovely. So I've always thought hair, half up, half down would look nice. That's just made it like a totally different thing because it's got the, it's, you can see the peak, it's kind of like a peekaboo, like just yeah. seeing the dress through it from behind. Oh, I love that. I definitely feel more pride in this. Yeah, that's lovely. This is definitely the favourite one so far. I love how simple. Yeah. Yeah, this is like pretty and like traditional, but I think because the last one was such a yeah. that this one. 
I do like it. I don't know if I like this like top bit. Yeah. I don't know. And like it's not as low. Well. Yeah. After seeing the other one. Yeah. We know yeah. the style that you like and yeah. suits you. Excellent. <coughs> it's proper showstopper. So lovely. It's so delicate as well. Mm. Yeah, the lace isn't heavy. No. You get the whole tray on the floor. Wow. We could do something like this and some of the nail. <laughs> we were there for I think three hours was it yeah three hours tried on seven dresses I only showed six one of them we just looked at and we're like no it just wasn't quite right but now we are in Marks and Spencer's mum has just popped to the lid we've got tea we've got soups coming mum's got a baker roll just gonna relax because that was actually quite tiring. When I tried the Tamara dress, when she put the veil on, I actually got a little bit emotional and was like, oh my God, I actually feel like a bride. But my mum got emotional at the first one. Did you get emotional at any? No, it just looked stunning in all of them, so it just stunning. Cry, what tears? <laughs> When we went in there, there were tissue boxes just in case people cried and I was like, oh, but then I did almost go myself. Let me know which was your favourite dress. I really like the Tamara one and then the last one, the skirt and the, is it the train? Is that what it's called? Like the lace bit? That, like maybe that combined with the Tamara dress. Amazing. I did wish it had sleeves, but I did think the sleeves, the way they were sat, did give like a curve. And with the veil, I think it was actually fine. Maybe I'll get you hot with sleeves? I don't know. I'm thinking like summer weather. A really great start. I feel like I have a really firm idea of what I'd want. Go to here. Just got to get Thank you. It's crepe material and it just hangs and sits almost like a fishtail at the end. Really, really flattering on the figure. Really complements the bum. Oh my god, that looks really good, jacket potato. And then after this, take some... No, don't! <laughs> She's like taking photos of me vlogging. No. After this, then we'll go take some photos. And relax. How did you find today? Ah, uh, interesting. Did you get emotional? Yeah, very First emotional. One. First one. I also realized I didn't take any vlog footage of Jenny and I taking vlog photos so I can show you some on my camera now but my plan was to kind of put it aside and then us to take photos and like do a little time lapse and yeah none of that happened but we shot really quickly we did both of our outfits in like half an hour which I think is really good especially because we've never shot before she really loved the photos that I took on my camera so I'm very very pleased I need to offload them then I can we transfer them to her and um, yeah I'll show you how they came out I really like my outfit as I said earlier today I'm just proud that I wasn't in jeans today tomorrow I'm gonna vlog as well we're going to a wedding reception so I can show you me getting ready for that if you saw during vlogmas when I went to Lydia's wedding I had that really beautiful dress I had the same one in purple I'll link below if they still have it well that'll be in tomorrow's one um, I really love the shape of that. I've shown Paul some of the photos. I feel like, well, I'm about to say maybe I shouldn't, but he's going to see them anyway, because as I said, this is going to be for a job. They're going to go on my Instagram, so I need to do two photos for that. That's why we tried on so many dresses. I say we, why I tried on so many dresses. Jenny was amazing, so patient. She was a dream. In my group chat, I was showing some of my friends the dresses, and they were like, oh my god. And I feel like, as I mentioned, the dress I really love, the Tamara dress, if that had sleeves or if it didn't have sleeves I don't know if I'm that fussed but then like the train should it have the lace detail on it but basically the dress I really wanted they didn't have in my size has sleeves and on the train it has lace detail so basically it is the dress that I really want they don't have my size so I'd have to compromise but uh, this was so amazing I I keep just can't stop smiling. The shots came out really good, so I need to go through and edit those. But yeah, before I finish filming, before I go and cook actually, I'm gonna have salmon tonight. I will show you pictures on the camera. I have a little sneaky peek. These are the ones I took of Jenny. They came out so nice. I love these detail shots. There was more depth of field. I got them really close. 
I then did steal her sunglasses and I have them in my shots as well. And then I was like, I need some hands in there. And, this, and then I was like, oh, composition's a bit off. Composition's a little bit better. Let's do an over the shoulder. I did this shot for Lydia once when we were in Paris, when we went with Olympus and that has just stuck with me. It's really nice like depth. So I had to get it to kneel down and then shoot over a shoulder. Little tip, if you shoot lower, make it look taller. These are nice. I just felt really comfortable with her. She's really patient. Just had a message, Deb has got time for me. Bless her. I think she doesn't start till 10, but she said, come in for 8.45. I'll just come in early, do your hair. What an absolute real star. So tomorrow, you'll see me get my hair done. I think it'll be interesting to watch and then something different than, you know, this is, all, this is all I do with my hair. I really should learn. At some point, I should do like a video, a blog post after I learn how to do some hairstyles. Um, because now my hair's getting longer, I probably could do some stuff with it. Um, but yeah, okay, food, I'm hungry. I've done loads of veg. I like to do like half a plate of veg each. So I've done that. I realized I only had one sweet potato, so there's not gonna be a lot of fries. Um, but you'll see it dished up in a little bit. Look how good this looks. As I said, lots of veg. Didn't have many sweet potato fries, so I made up with it with extra veg. And um, yeah, this looks amazing. So I'm gonna call Paul now. As we have one here and one in the lounge, you could broadcast between them and it will call him. If he wants, he can send a message back. So let me demonstrate. Hey Google, broadcast. What's the message? Paul, dinner's ready. All right, broadcasting now. I hear footsteps. Why are you filming me? Yeah, I wasn't sure if you were going to send a message back or not. Mm. So I was filming in case and then I heard footsteps. I could see in the reflection that you were filming. Realise I haven't shown you guys on the vlog this cute little dining area instead of sitting on the sofa like we had before. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Bon appétit. Bon. That was hello. <laughs> so your shoes are in the shop. Uh. I'll hold it. You have one job. I got dressing gown on. Yeah, I'm still wearing my dressing gown. How was dinner? It was perfect. I really enjoyed that. That was amazing. We still have another one. We can have another day. So we're just chilling on the sofa and then Paul, With my shoes. Yeah, I'm trying to like hard thumb. Uh, Paul is going to work. So mm. while he leaves me, I'll be editing some of the photos that we say we. You went there. I don't that. want to leave my dressing gown, I just want to Your stay. dressing gown as I mine. I just want to stay and snuggle with you. You haven't seen Paul a lot in this vlog, but he'll feature heavily tomorrow. You so. can see me now! So if you've missed him, you'll see him all tomorrow, so don't worry. You don't want to see me. Over the course of the past two months, I've put on a lot of weight. I've got a fat face. I have! I'm a chubster! But we might start running. That we are definitely doing it. Whether you join me is a different story. I'm doing the Norwich 10k. We've downloaded the app to do couch to 5k. To get started, get in the room. I can't really run, so I think that'll be a really good way. And also just a little bit of fitness for me to keep motivated and everything. And shape that sexy bum. Oh my god. Um, I'm definitely not going to be doing 10k though. Definitely not going to be doing <laughs> tickles. Stop it. That sounds like hell to me. Will I be able to even do 5k? But we'll see. I believe in you. Thank you. But let's say bye now, and then you'll see us tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>